Hey everybody, today I'm going to demonstrate a few tips about flying in the snow. Oh. Hey, sorry about the lighting, I'm kind of getting everything ready in a hurry. I'm going to use the Phantom 4 out in the snow. I'm in Tennessee, we're supposed to get about three or four inches today. Uh, there's a couple things you want to do before you fly in the snow. One, make sure you have a launch pad so that you're not, especially if there's snow laying on the ground, you don't want to stir up all that snow. you got to look out for moisture. So these vents on the underside, I've used gaffer's tape to cover up the vents. Just uh, a precaution. You don't want to get any moisture inside. So let's put that on there like that. And you should be okay. Limit your flying time to about five minutes. And I'm going to use the loom cubes today because it's not yet sunrise. The sun will be coming up in about five minutes. So here we go. Let's fly in the snow. Okay, it is dawn. I've got the Phantom 4 and I'm ready to fly in the snow. It's still dark enough to where I can use the loom cubes. Haha, -ha, yeah. Nice. Of course, if there's snow on the ground, you're going to want a, a launch pad. Got to have a launch pad. Launch pad down. It is snowing on the Phantom 4. The idea is to quickly get it in the air so that no snow really lies on it. Let's see if I can get this going. I've got my gloves on with the tablet friendly fingers, which is getting snowed on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I'm trying to block the snow the best I can. Of course, the IMU has to warm up and it's going to take it a minute. It doesn't usually snow here in Tennessee, so this is an unusual event. The home point has been updated. All Please right. Check it on the map. Here we go. Gloved fingers crossed. And we're up. Yeah! Hello! Go check out the world! really snowing quite a bit oh my goodness this is the most snow I've ever flown in I'll try to go over to the lake here oh boy I'm trying to get my bearings it would absolutely suck if I had to go find this man now it's okay to fly in the snow as long as you keep it moving. Uh, it should be okay for short periods of time. Short periods of time. This is the Carroll County Thousand Acre Lake. Boy, you can really see it fighting the wind. I don't, I've never flown in this much snow before. Sure is pretty. Alright. Yeah. Alright. I'm going to come back. Heading back. I mean, this is getting all over my tablet. You see my tablet? Covered with snow. Come home, baby. Come home. <laughs> I think it's flying into the wind now. I'm going to come down a little bit. It is beautiful. Oh, you can see us coming in there through the trees, the leafless trees. 
Go. <laughs> All right. Hi. There's the snowy radio station. Coming down. Sorry, I didn't mean to turn away from the camera there. How rude of me. The loom cubes didn't really help as far as illuminating things. You could see a little bit of snow with them, but I put them on there to give it some visibility in case I had to retrieve it. Well, there you go. Flying in the snow is possible. You want to hand catch in the snow. Don't land it on the snowy ground. Okay, there we go. Be very careful. And there we are. Ha ha! Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Send me links to your snowy uh, video. I want to see it. Buh and bye. Oh, 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 Kelly, it's snowing, dude. It's coming down pretty good. Look at that. Make a snow angel. On the ground? Yeah. I'll see you. Oh, uh, but, aw.